am Jessica Casebolt from Pikeville, Kentucky. That's a good one. You got that one? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's start with that. Okay, what my, is your favorite color? My favorite color is Georgetown orange. The bright sweatshirt. Gotta rock the Georgetown orange. <laughs> nice. Now, a, a lot of the ladies are coming here, and people out there expect you to probably show up in a dress. Like, it's a beauty pageant, but you you know, you got your sporting your college sweatshirt. Is, is there, are there clothes from back home that you just, you wish you could just be sporting out here in Vegas? Exactly. You know, as pageant girls, we joke around a lot and say that we have glitter in our veins. But we don't, you know, we always have to kind of get a little comfy, wear your sweatshirt. I am notorious for rocking the tie-dye t-shirt. So when I'm, I'm at home, when I'm back in Pikeville, back in Kentucky, I, you can usually find me in a tie-dye t-shirt. Nice. <laughs> that's not here this weekend. Mm, that's not in my suitcase. <laughs> Now, speaking of suitcases uh, and repeating the question when I asked, how many suitcases did you bring to Vegas this week? I believe I hold the record for the most suitcases. I have eight bags. <laughs> I've heard girls that have two and three. I was like, oh, no. So I have eight suitcases here. Okay, describe what's in, do you, have, do you categorize it? All right, dresses in this one, shoes in this one. How do you do it? My packing is very strategic. We've got one suitcase only for shoes. Which is, which is my dirty secret. Okay, shoes are my, my weakness, my, my soft spot. So one suitcase only for shoes, one suitcase for competition wear, one suitcase for pretty things to wear while I'm in Vegas, and one suitcase for like workout clothes. I mean, we've got it organized to the hill. I know exactly what's in those bags. Nice. <laughs> now, will you be doing any workouts since you talked about workout clothes? Will you be working out anytime this week? Definitely. Definitely be keeping up with my workouts while I'm here because that's one part, really important part of, of Miss America is keeping that healthy lifestyle and trying to stay fit because especially if you're wearing a bikini on national television, you're going to want to look your best. Yes. Now, how was it choosing, like, from the bikinis to the dresses, like, was it hard choosing what to wear? It wasn't hard, really, to choose what to wear. I was, it was really fun. I designed my own evening gown. Uh, Heather French Henry, who was Miss America in 2000, she made it for me, and it was beaded by one of my friends, Bob Haven, in Kentucky. So my dress is completely made in Kentucky. Uh, my swimsuit is um, snakeskin. I never dreamed I'd wear snakeskin and, at Miss America, but we've got it. It's pink snakeskin, but you know, it's, it's been really fun to kind of compose this whole wardrobe of things that are very much my style and be able to show that to everybody on national television. Nice. And lastly, for the gentlemen out there, what do you, when you go out on a nice date or anything, is there a certain secret that you have, whether it's your perfume, your dress, to, to look good for the fellas? My signature when I go out on a date is the chin tilt, okay? This means I like you. If you get the chin tilt and I kind of give you this look out of the corner of my eye, that means we go on a second date. <laughs> and what's the opposite? This means there's no second date. That means get me out of here. Secrets are real. There we go. Awesome. That was perfect. Before they compete for the crown, see what this year's Miss America contestant said behind the scenes. All this week, the Live Well Network catches each one revealing beauty tricks and personal secrets you won't see in the competition. We found some winners. Rebecca Spira hosts Miss America Secrets Revealed. All new every night beginning Monday, January 7th, only on the Live Well Network. Check your local listings or click Choose Your City to find the Live Well Network in your area.